Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element will be lithium. Now, lithium is found commonly in lithium ion batteries, such as the ones you'd find in your phone. So, here's some of them here. Um, these are all uh, recycled. Um, I just went down to my lo local dump um, landfill place, and um, they should have a spot specifically for recycling batteries. Probably they have a separate bin for uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, so, anyhow, you're going to want to grab some lithium ion batteries. Um, here's a bunch of these, this type, these, um, are made by Panasonic, and, um, anyhow, th these are more like the AA battery that you'd find, but they're a bit different. Um, so, there's two different ways to process these. These ones, um, you'll chop open and unroll and take out your lithium. These ones you'll have to chop open and then unroll and take out your lithium. It's just a bit different due to the shape. Um, but the processes are similar. So, anyhow, we're going to head outside and uh, make sure we're wearing gloves because there are um, probably bad chemicals inside of these and um, if any of them get hot at all during the process throw them away and start on a new battery because they could short out and then blow up so, um, so anyhow I'll meet you outside okay so you will just want to set up a workspace similar to this um, off to the side you want a small beaker filled with um, some mineral oil to store our lithium under so it doesn't combine with the nitrogen um, as rapidly um, and then We'll have our pile of lithium ion batteries and also some simple tools like um, a knife or something. I'm just using this uh, uh, razor blade and uh, you'll probably want a pair of needle nose pliers and definitely some wire cutters or something to chop away at the metal. So um, we're going to start by opening up the casing. I think we'll start with a red one. Uh, so we're just going to peel off the casing and open up the cap. So we'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay, so you can see right there we have our battery. So I've removed the top with um trying to short it out as little as possible. This one might be dead because it didn't get hot at any point. But um it still might have good lithium in it. So next what we're gonna want to do is try to pull out the whole core. Now this might be a bit difficult, but um with a bit of working it, you should be able to get the whole core out. So uh any I'll be back when that's done. So, um, I actually had to peel off the rest of the casing to get out the battery. Um, it really does depend on the type of battery and how it's put together. This one was um, stuck to the bottom of it with this little tab. Um, but anyhow, the next step is going to be to uh, try to start peeling off this back. You can see that coppery color. Typically that means that the lithium has, uh, I don't know what happens to the lithium, but uh, when a lithium ion battery dies, the lithium is typically that color. Um, which is not a good sign because it means that lithium is probably not going to do anything really. Um, but I'll take it out anyhow and um, you can see the lithium here. I'll be back when um, I have it all out. So um, you can see our lithium is in the water here and there might be a couple bubbles but it's really not reacting and you can see the coppery color. So um, all that lithium was uh, used so probably all the rest of these orange batteries or not good. It's best to buy your battery brand new, but every now and then you'll run into a good one um, at the dump. So anyhow, I'm going to put that aside and take apart one of uh, these square batteries. Um, now these might still uh, be working, um, and if they are, then they should be a great source of lithium. So I'm going to take this apart, similarly to how we took that apart, and we'll see if we can get some working lithium out of it. Okay, so I didn't think that this was lithium right here, um, but uh, it's heavily oxidized and it is lithium. I can prove it by simply taking a square. Oh, you can see it's reacting right there with just the water on my fingers right now. But if you dip it into the water, you can see it heavily reacts extremely quickly with the water. So this is all lithium. Um, so I might go and take apart a couple um, other of these and uh, then we'll try to melt this down. Um, and some mineral oil to uh, try to make the lithium nice and shiny again. But this is definitely lithium, so I'll just pop that in there with the rest of it. And uh, I'll be back when I'm uh, finished with the rest of these batteries. Okay, so you can see that we're practically left with um, a bunch of lithium that's really, really, really um, badly tarnished with nitrogen. And uh, it's just sitting there in the beaker. Um, so there's two things we could do. We could either melt it down in the mineral oil and then it might coalesce into a larger sphere of lithium or we could react the lithium with uh, water creating lithium hydroxide and then melt down the lithium hydroxide and run an electrical current through it and um, get out the lithium metal um, but 
uh, the high temperatures may make the lithium react um, and combust and start a fire. So um, I think the melting down would probably work better, but um, some of the really tarnished lithium might not even melt properly, so I might have to do the second process I mentioned where we'll put it in water and make some lithium hydroxide. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to put this beaker on the uh, stove at a fairly high heat, but don't uh, turn up the heat too quickly. Um, but anyhow, the mineral oil should not boil off, um, but you should be able to uh, liquefy your lithium. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so I finally have the uh, lithium melted down and everything. You can see uh, all the chunks that are floating in there. Um, now, it seems that it's impossible to stop this from actually reacting with the nitrogen to any substantial amount um, because it even floats uh, on top of mineral oil. Um, but when you melt it into larger chunks, um, only the surface can combine. So um, if I open up this jar here um, and take out a large chunk, we should be able to chop it open and see a rather shiny surface in between. So uh, let's see. Just take this knife. Chop it. Uh, I don't. You can kind of see the shiny. Yeah, there we go. You can see the shiny surface there. So it's very shiny, but very soon that's going to combine um, with the uh, nitrogen in the air and um, oxidize or on uh, night or I don't know what it does, but anyhow it turns back into the uh, lithium nitride on the surface. But um, anyhow, to finish this video off, we're just going to drop some in the water to show the reactivity of it. Oops, I missed. There you go. So once that mineral oil layer comes off, you can see it's a very vigorously producing hydrogen gas. It's not nearly as reactive as some of the alkali metals, but it is still very reactive as you can see. There, yeah, well, the reaction's really going now. Anyhow, um, so, uh, yeah, that's how to make lithium metal. Um, we'll probably be using this in an upcoming video on making cesium. So um, you want to uh, get a substantial amount of this to do so. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.